disappointment. It's a word that can make our hearts sink, a feeling that can leave us feeling lost and uncertain. We've all been there. We've all tasted the bitterness of unfulfilled dreams, the sting of unexpected setbacks. It's part of what it means to be alive, to feel the full spectrum of human emotions. We might be tempted to resist these difficult emotions, to pretend they don't exist, but just like the darkness that complements the light, disappointments are an integral part of our story. They add depth, they foster growth, they remind us of our resilience. Think of a beautiful tapestry, it's the combination of these experiences that shapes us, that reveals our strength and resilience. Hope is not a passive wish. It's not a magical solution to life's problems. It's an active choice, a conscious decision to keep believing, even when faced with challenges. It's the quiet whisper that says, keep going. There's still beauty to be found, even amidst the broken pieces. Every morning we are presented with a choice. We can choose to dwell on yesterday's disappointments, to let them cloud our vision, or we can choose hope. We can choose to see the potential for growth, for learning, for a brighter tomorrow. It's a choice we make every single day. Hope is our inner gardener. It reminds us that even in the harshest of winters, spring will eventually arrive. Disappointment. It's a universal language, a shared human experience that transcends age, culture and circumstance. We all know its sting, its ability to leave us feeling lost and uncertain like ships adrift at sea. From the smallest of letdowns to the more profound, disappointments are woven into the fabric of our lives. They are the unexpected detours on the roadmap of our journeys. But what if we were to shift our perspective? What if instead of viewing disappointments as failures, we were to reframe them as opportunities for growth and resilience? The truth is disappointments, however unwelcome, offer us valuable lessons. Often disappointment arises from unmet expectations. We paint pictures in our minds of how things should be, the perfect job, the ideal relationship, the flawless vacation. And when reality falls short, we feel the weight of disappointment settle upon us. We cling to these expectations like life rafts, believing they hold the key to our happiness. But the tighter we grip, the more elusive they become, and the heavier the weight of disappointment grows. We find ourselves caught in a cycle of striving, seeking, and ultimately feeling let down when our carefully constructed visions don't materialize. It's in these moments of disconnect when our expectations collide with the reality of our circumstances that we have a choice. We can either allow disappointment to consume us, or we can choose to loosen our grip, to embrace the unexpected detours and allow ourselves to be surprised by the beauty that often lies hidden within the unforeseen. Letting go of expectations is about creating space for acceptance, for growth, and for the realization that sometimes the greatest gifts come in the most unexpected of packages. Disappointment can feel like wandering through an unfamiliar wilderness. The path ahead is unclear, the terrain uncertain. We may feel lost, alone, unsure of which direction to take or how to find our way back to familiar ground. The temptation to give up, to surrender to the weight of despair can be overwhelming. We may question our choices, doubt our abilities, and wonder if we have the strength to keep going. But even in the midst of this wilderness, there are glimmers of hope. Like wildflowers pushing through cracks in the pavement, resilience blooms in the most unexpected of places. Navigating the wilderness of disappointment requires courage, compassion, and an unwavering belief in our own inner strength.